Hey guys, how's it going? Thought I would drop in and make a quick video on how to use Advanced Combat Tracker's Timer feature for custom triggers within Final Fantasy XIV. A couple people have been asking about this recently, so I thought I'd make a quick video on how to utilize this feature. What you want to do is open up ACT, as you see here, go to your Custom Triggers tab, then you can create a timer for just about anything you want in the game. Your own abilities, monster abilities, other people's abilities, and so on. So here you come down, you got your general time. It's just what I use. I think it was there by default. And you want to create your custom trigger. Here you can set it up for whatever you want. The sound to play, beat, custom wave, or text to speech. I like the beep here. And then you put the name, death sentence. Next is regular expression. This is the line you want ACT to pick up from the game. Twintania uses death sentence. You want to type it out exactly as it in, is in the game. And then here in this tab, you want to come here and put the exact same thing. And then put it as a trigger timer. I have one set for both death sentence and twister. So th here's the twister one again. Beep. Twister. 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 Now, what you want to do next is open your timers. Here, if you left click on it, you can see it will show spell timers. If you right click it, it will give you the option to click through it or right click it for options. So, I opened it up and then I right click it for options. And that's this window here as you see in the background video. And then this is the options when you right click on it. Here, you want to come in, expand your general tab find your timer that you created make sure it's checked again put the name Twintania uses death sentence this is the duration of the gap between the the ability and for a death sentence it's approximately 30 seconds and so we put 30 seconds here and we want us to we want it to warn us about two seconds before it hits which is going to be at 28 seconds so that's why you put a two here it counts backwards from this timer you set here so at 28 seconds it's going to warn me that death sentence is coming up. The minus 10 here is when it will remove the timer from view up here on your radial dial. You'll see this pop up throughout the background video. And so what you want to do then is make sure that you have a check mark in the radial display and the other two or this box here was checked by default just left it alone and you want it to display in panel A or panel B whichever one you're going to be using I'm using panel A and then you want to come down here and set up the specific sounds that you want to play at the warning point I want it to tell me what ability is coming especially since I have multiple ones in the same fight so this is the custom warning sound and I'm using text to speech death sentence right and so you're gonna hear this death sentence two seconds before death sentence is gonna go off and then when death sentence actually goes off you'll hear this again just a little beep to let you know I like to set it up like that. That way it warns me ahead of time uh, of the exact move and then just a beep when it actually starts to go off. Um, the beep is not what should uh, save you though. You should be paying attention after you get your warning. And so that's how I like to use it. You can set it up however you prefer though with the, the options. It's very customizable. And then here, the orange color, you can set that to whatever you want as well and that's what color the radial dial will be for this timer an orange timer we'll go ahead and show twister as well as you can see it just went off and that's the red radial dial and the same thing applies here you just put the name in the time that it goes off I found 22 seconds to be the most reliable here and then the warning point at 20 seconds which is two seconds before this one remember and then the dial will disappear in 10 seconds as you can see it counting backwards here and then down here again same thing you have the beep sound when it actually goes off and two seconds before and you have the uh, the twister. name of the ability as you could hear right there twister I'll play it once more twister 
twister and that way you have the actual name of the ability right before it goes off and so that's how you set up the custom timers within act and this is more specifically for turn 5 the twintania fight so i hope this was informative and helped out you guys uh, let me know what you think all right thanks for stopping by and we'll see you guys next time